I know you've already done it today. And I bet you really enjoyed yourself. How many times did you do it yesterday? Are you afraid you're doing it too often? In your bedroom under the blankets? Or perhaps you prefer the kitchen? Or on the toilet? Or do you like it out in the garden? Well, you know what? You no longer have to feel ashamed. Everybody's doing it because it's fantastic. And now you can keep going all day long. Don't you like that? You don't even need to stop. And if you want to, you could even join me. The PlayStation Vita was released on December 17th, 2011 in Japan and February 15th, 2012 in the U.S. of A. The Vita's main competitor was the Nintendo 3DS. The Vita had a ton of performance issues in games despite having a quad-core ARM A9 CPU, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 128 megabytes of VRAM. The price was $249.99, just like the original PSP. All the features from the first PSP are back in the Vita with the bonus of a front and back camera and touchscreen as well as a second analog stick. The Vita used Vita specific cartridges and for memory storage it used Vita proprietary SD cards which were absolutely overpriced beyond belief. Let's look at some of the games. PlayStation Battle Royale All-Stars Catch you later. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Uncharted. Whoa, whoa. Watch this vlog. It's a little squirrely. Squirrely? Where'd you learn that, girl? <laughs> what, are you king of the jungle? It's a rope, Drake, not a vine. <laughs> The only thing that saved the PlayStation Vita way later in life was the modding scene. Without the mods, the Vita was atrocious in my opinion. I bought one on launch day and returned it the following day due to the outrageous prices of the Vita SD cards and the inability to save my game progress without one. The exact Vita console sold are not known. Sony stopped releasing the sales features after 4 million confirmed sales, but some retail analysts claimed a measly 6 million units were sold. Meanwhile, the 3DS sold 76 million worldwide. Once again, Nintendo decimated Sony in the handheld world, delivering a phantom punch harder than Muhammad Ali to Sony with such strength that Sony never returned to the handheld market. However, someday they might. Only time will tell.